This book is a passion project and a promise that I made to someone very long ago. I met Eugene Wee from Radio International uh, many years ago and he explained the plight of the Hmong tribe. Hmong meaning H-M-O-N-G, right? So the Hmong tribe have been a group that's been so disadvantaged for so long and they finally have found um, some peace and happiness with the help of Radio International. So they're the group that takes care of them and this is in the northern part of Thailand. I'm a lot more a bit older now and I, I have a sense of what I think I feel I can achieve for them in my own small little way. So I said this is my promise because I said to myself I have to help at some, in some way because these guys and gals and women and children they've been through such a hard time and I wanted to give back to them a little something or give them something to be proud of or be a part of. Cross stitching is a huge skill that they have as a tribe and they do that with their costumes and traditional garb. So I thought cross stitching, this is something I used to do in school and this is something which I don't know whether they really do in school anymore. I don't think so, not as much. So. I explored and I looked at trying to make something out of the cross design. I looked at design and said, this would be a cute little purse. So I said, okay, children, cross-stitch, there has to be a storybook or something behind it. So I said, what kind of stories do they have from the Hmong tribe? What did they tell the stories on it? So they came back with a few stories and from those five stories, I hope to make five books. Okay? So when I looked at the first story, um, it was all about a girl who's magic purse, she could like to call it, was her way of fulfilling a dream that down the road she could buy a book for herself. Okay? And the story goes of how she lost her purse and she, the only thing that she was left was one coin. And an old man was begging for food and she felt, should I give this man this coin because he has no food to eat, you know? For me, I can always earn money. He's got absolutely nothing. Should I give him my coin? So does she give the coin to the old man? <gasps> Find out. Buy the book now. So <laughs> the product is a four-in-one activity book. So it's a story book. Sorry from the Hmong tribe. It's a coloring book. So it's got pictures. It's got a doodle few pages that the kids can doodle and use their own imagination. And it comes with its own little starter kit to do cross-stitch. So this is where kids, with the help of adults, can bond while they're trying to do a cross-stitch together. And I think it's a cute little project to work with with your kids. So, these ladies, few reasons to give them an added income. Now remember, this is not so much a charity, it works with this as a social enterprise. Okay? So, basically when you buy this book, you're giving these ladies an income, because they are my supplier. Okay, so they've given me the design and the story, and so they earn a living from the sale of this book. So what it does, it, it, it gets them out of the price fields. These ladies go out and do hard labor. I mean, they're very old. These other ladies are very, very old. And uh, they go to the rice fields because doing cross stitch takes a very long time and there's no way they can earn enough. So they have to go out and do hard labor. These ladies shouldn't be doing hard labor at their age. And the other very important reason is a lot of them take care of their children or their grandchildren while their mothers go out and work. So they need someone at home to take care of the kids, right? So a portion of the funds from the sale of this book goes to them and their salary so they can stay home, right? And the other part of the, of the book, a part of it goes to the children. How? Through Radio International because they have a great uh, children's program to keep them in school. 